They both have coming back from the dead stories. We're going to see Jacob, the, the brothers know, but Jacob's like, dude, I thought you were dead 20 years. He thought his son was dead. Can you even imagine? They both have these coming back from the dead stories that he wasn't recognized by his brothers. He was an Egyptian, different hair, 20 years later, speaking a different language. He wasn't recognized by his brothers. But then, um, they believed he was dead, but he was alive. But Jesus, he literally resurrected from dead. He's a greater Joseph. That's what I'm trying to tell you today. They both delivered bread to those in need. What did Joseph do? He stockpiled other stuff for the famine. We're going to see next week. And he gave food to people. But Jesus, his body, we talk about this communion. His uh, body is the bread broken for us. And we, we get life from his body, from his death. We get power from him, and he saves the world. Okay. After their release, Joseph, he took a Gentile bride. You'll see the um, Egyptians give him a wife, Egyptian wife. But Jesus, after his resurrection, he takes a Gentile bride, which is called the church. And he loves us. That's us. Joseph's cloak, it was taken for proof. Uh, that he was no longer in the pit. Remember, they put the blood on it. Uh, but Jesus' burial cloak was taken from his tomb to prove that he was no longer there. Jesus is no longer in the tomb. Amen? This is why we're here this morning. Okay. A few more. They were both uh, exalted after their suffering. So they both suffered, and then they were lifted up. They were exalted. Uh, Joseph was given a new name, an Egyptian name. He's put in charge over all things. He's the second in command in Egypt right next to Pharaoh. But Jesus was exalted after his great suffering and death, and God made him second in command, his representative over all the universe. Over the, the heavens and the earth, Jesus is lifted up and uh, put in charge over everything. And to him, every knee will bow, the scriptures say. They were both given all authority. Pharaoh, you know, the Pharaohs used to think they were God, right? We say lowercase g-o-d. And so Joseph was given all authority for this lowercase g-o-d as Pharaoh's representative in Egypt. But Jesus was given a, authority by capital G-O-D, by the Lord Yahweh, the one true God, and he's representing, representing God uh, with all dominion and power and, and authority in the world, on the heavens and earth, for all eternity. Whew. That's Joseph. That's Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, I hope you do know him a little bit better today. I hope you know him a lot better throughout your life, that you come back that you get to be encouraged and grow in him together. If you don't know Joseph, we're going to be talking about him the next few months. So you can come back and hear the rest of the Joseph story. But if you don't know, I'll tell you again, Jesus is the greater Joseph because Jesus is a greater everything. He's a greater everything. He's, he's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He's ruling and reigning in power right now over all mankind. He's our soon returning conqueror. That's why we were at the Greens' funeral and it was sad and I cried and they all cried and we love and miss Gordy. But we don't grieve like those who have no hope. We don't grieve like those who have no hope. We have hope in Jesus that when He comes back that He will resurrect all those who have fallen asleep in death. That we will be alive forever with Him and His kingdom. That is the Christian hope. That is why we celebrate Jesus because we couldn't do that by ourselves. We could never be good enough. We could never earn our salvation all by ourselves. We need Jesus, His perfection in our place for our sins. The substitution, <laughs> substitutionary atonement okay, is the fancy church word for it. We have no hope without Jesus. We talked last week. Without Jesus, well, life is hopeless, but with Jesus, we have hope. Life is hopeless sometimes. We feel like that. But Jesus is the only way to be saved. Do you know Him? Do you know Him?